Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Sunday, January 26th, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a leaking O ring on a P7100 pump on my 6BT Cummins engine. Okay, so uh, back when I uh, got this engine to put in this truck, uh, it had a lot of oil leaks. So I had to remove the um, the lifter cover that's on the uh, the side of the engine, which is actually back behind the um, the pump here. And in doing that, of course, I had to remove the whole pump assembly. So after I put the pump back in, uh, on the engine, uh, we have to set the timing. So the way you set the pump timing on these is you remove the uh, number one delivery valve holder and you put a dial indicator on here and you find top dead center and you rotate the engine and and that's how you set your timing up. So I guess when I put this delivery valve back in, the O-ring here, um, which I didn't have a replacement for, um, must have gotten nicked and it looks like this one might actually be seeping a little bit too. So anyway, the long and short of it is I noticed a, a little diesel fuel leak um, that's made its way down. Um, it leaks, I guess, into this wiring harness, which is under here where my finger is, and then it runs down and runs down off the power steering pump and then onto the track bar and my steering stabilizer was soaked. So yeah, the diesel fuel makes its way down to the bottom. So it's not a massive leak. It's enough to be annoying. And um, so I figured what I'll do is uh, I'll fix that today. All right, so anyway, uh, this job doesn't require really anything that exotic to do the, the, uh, the job. Uh, you need a 19 millimeter wrench to take off the uh, the fuel line or three quarter. And uh, you need this 34 point uh, spline socket, um, which you can get from uh, Snap-on through their blue point line. Um, this is model number SP503. Um, there's also a few other places that sell these sockets. I paid 18 bucks for this uh, with the tax, so uh, actually wasn't really that bad of a deal. Um, when I originally set up the um, the timing, I borrowed a set which included the dial indicator and the tool to uh, to pull off the um, the timing gear and of course this socket. Um, I figured I should probably buy my own socket since I'm going to have to do this job and I might have to do it again if I replace the delivery valves. Uh, uh, in the upcoming months. So, uh, anyhow, um, O-rings. Well, um, these are uh, are John Deere O-rings, um, and they're part number R eight zero three five six. Basically, what happened was uh, last week um, I called up, um, or two weeks ago I called up uh, a Cummins dealer that's uh, in Newark, New Jersey, which isn't really uh, that far from, um, from you know where I live and where I work um, and uh, I was just looking to get a couple of O-rings from them and of course uh, I guess they're too busy to call anybody back and uh, want to sell any parts so uh, I did some looking on the internet um, and I found that um, I could buy six O-rings from um, one of the diesel websites um, that sells uh, delivery valves and things like that um, because it, it was just kind of hard for me to, to find, um, I guess, a Cummins deal, another Cummins dealer, I guess. So anyway, I was looking on this one diesel website, and uh, they wanted um, six, uh, thirty-six dollars for six O-rings um, plus uh, ten ninety-five shipping. So uh, I thought that was um, a little much to pay, considering I only need like one or two O-rings. So um, I went back to the Cummins website, and I found their parts lookup, and um, Located the part number for the o-ring and uh, From there I um, typed that into the internet to see if I could find uh, You know a place that would sell just the o-rings and I found a cross-reference sheet and the cross-reference sheet showed this John Deere part number here as the same o-ring um, And I found a place a, a green parts store. I think it was called um, they're Two bucks a piece so I bought a dozen of them uh, and uh, $1.92 shipping. So uh, for less than the price of six unshipped, I uh, I got 12. So anyhow, sometimes it uh, pays to um, shop around for parts. So anyhow, let me uh, get you set up and uh, we'll show you how to change this. 
All right, so the first thing we want to do is uh, you want to take your air gun and you just want to blow the valve off. So if there is any little dirt on there, it doesn't fall in the pump. So you just want to take your wrench Crack the line loose carefully. And you just want to kind of push it aside. They don't bend that easy. Take your socket. That over the delivery valve. And it seems that the O ring is stuck down in the bore there. Blast of air. You gotta be careful, there's a little spring in there. Don't want to drop that. And there it is, and you can see the o ring was kind of caught on there and it's all screwed up now. I don't know why I'm doing this in 21 degree weather. I guess uh, just a little, here's our new O-ring. I guess I'm just a little bored and uh, going a little stir crazy in the house. So, so just take your new O-ring and roll it over the threads. Drop your valve back in place. Now they use Cummins engines in all kinds of things. So I guess they use this engine in a John Deere implement or machine or whatever. So that's why I was able to find them, I guess, at a John Deere dealer. All right, so. It's just lightly snug now. Now I gotta get my torque wrench and we have to torque this, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we got our torque wrench set. The, the initial torque is 29 foot pounds. Okay, and then the uh, final foot, the final torque is 85 foot pounds that they want you to do in one smooth motion. And that's it. Okay, so then I just I had to put gloves on because my fingers were cold with just those rubber gloves. Just put your line back on. Snug. And that's that.
right, so. Looks like our leak is gone. So, of course, to start the snow, yeah, you can see that. Oh, well, anyway, it's too damn cold to be outside, so. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you guys soon. Take care.